my last advice for you then, what I wish I knew now or what I wish I knew then, your network and your connections are here. Keep talking to each other. You know that if you're talking to one reporter in Korea or somewhere in Europe, that they're talking to their headquarters back in New York, D.C., Los Angeles, and that they're comparing what each of you say. So keep up with your network. Talk to your friends. Say, hey, have you got a plan I can use? You got a copy of that comms plan? Tell me what you're doing for this next exercise. How can I help you? How can I support you? Keep your connections. The biggest thing I wish I knew was measures of effectiveness. People like to cut soft, what they consider to be soft skills. Uh, always prone to budget cuts. Prove that your programs are effective and efficient. I didn't have any of that for quite a long time. Uh, one of the new experts I've seen in this now, her name is P-A-Y-N-E, Katie Payne. She owns a company that does communications measurements. She can measure, and she has other colleagues who have different measuring tools, internal communications very effectively, media much more than impressions. You can measure results. And I know have several friends who work in corporate PR who have found that really, really helpful. When the budget cutters came back to cut their office, they couldn't because they, had, they could see measurable results. So find a way to measure the effectiveness of what you're doing. Now, there's a million stories in the city. My, one of my friends used to say, a million stories in the naked city. Which ones are you going to tell? You're going to tell the ones that illustrate and promote values. You're going to want to tell the ones that get people interested. Um, you're going to have to tell the ones that involve crisis or people doing bad things. Now, when we talked to Phil Strube, we also talked about some other shows that they support. They support NCIS New Orleans, but not NCIS DC. And and they, they said, do you know why the Navy doesn't like NCIS? Because the only time you see a sailor, they're dead or they're a bad guy. <laughs> but I have a friend who works now at NCIS who will tell you that NCIS used to get 500 applications a month for people to work there. They now get 5,000 a week. So there is some effect. And I think you know, worrying about that kind of thing, do you really think people are affected by that? Now, is there any semblance between much of what's on television now and any reality at all? Not much. You know, all, everything out there is superheroes and dystopian futures. But the reality of what is heroism, the reality of what is service, and the reality of what is sacrifice is the people who wear the uniform of the United States Armed Services. Those are the stories you tell. Those are the stories you want to tell, and that's why you wanted to do this stuff, am I right? Because there it is. And you get to play with the toys, and you get to watch the professionals, and you get to have a great time doing this, because this, I may be a little prejudiced, but this is the best career there is. Now, when I was here at Fort Meade as a captain, I was an MP. This is the best career there is. 